Hey, good morning, everyone. How's it going today? Coach Alvarez here. Back at you another episode of Coffee with Coach. It's a beautiful Sunday morning out, or at least here in Austin, Texas. Beautiful morning. Took the dog for a walk and, um, you know, getting those mental vitamins myself, and I wanted to share those with you. So hope you're up. Uh, making some moves this morning. Got the mind in the right place. If not, let's go ahead and help put it in the right place. All right. So, so again, listening to the, uh, the audio of... Um, uh, the Compound Effect with Darren Hardy. Uh, and then I'm able to listen to the audio book. Uh, it's just my YouTube while I'm walking my dog or doing whatever I'm doing, cleaning up. Um, I'll just hit the audio, the YouTube video of it. And then uh, I'll come and, and reread it uh, in the book. It just And it's actually the author um, of the book that's actually reading the book, the audio book. So that's pretty cool. Sometimes the audio, it's a different person and the voice doesn't really kind of do what it's supposed to do. So anyways, um, the Easter egg hunt, all right? You're either hot or cold, right? Uh, it's been a while since I did an Easter egg hunt. Um, but, uh, you know, when you play those games, you're either getting hot or you're getting cold. You're getting closer to them or you're getting further away from them. So I wanted to share this with you because I was walking my dog. You know, there's a lot of just goodies in this stuff that I'm listening to. And uh, this one in particular caught me, so I wanted to share it with you. So uh, this is Darren Hardy. He's talking about the, uh, a time where he was uh, uh, talking to uh, Jillian Michaels um, from the the Biggest Loser Fitness uh, trainer. So let me let me have it. Let me read it to you real quick. So, your life is a product of your moment to moment choices. In our success CD, May 2010, TV's Biggest Loser Fitness trainer Jillian, Jillian Michaels shared with me a powerful childhood story. When I was a kid, my mom would have these elaborate Easter egg hunts for me. I would run around the house, and when I would get close to a hidden egg, she'd say, Oh, you're warm. You know, you're getting closer to it. Oh, you're on fire. And then you move away from the egg, and she said, um, Go. Oh, you're getting, you're getting cold. You're freezing. She said, I teach these contestants, I teach my contestants that on a moment to moment basis, I need them to think about their happiness and their ultimate goal as being warm. How every choice and every decision they make in the moment is getting them closer to the ultimate goal. Since your outcomes are all a result of your moment to moment choices, you have incredible power to change your life by changing those choices. Step by step, day by day, your choices will shape your actions until they become habits where practice makes them permanent. Losing is a habit, so is winning. Now let's work on permanently installing winning habits into your life, eliminate sabotaging, ha sabotaging habits and install, instill the needed positive habits and take your life in, an, in any direction you desire to the heights of your greatest imagination. So um, just a short little read, short little um, thing there, but it just makes sense, right? Like you just, just like you can put an Easter egg hunt and like relate it to life and everything else. And so I thought that was pretty cool because it is. Every day we get up, we have choices and we make decisions and we do things and they are either getting us closer to the ultimate goal of what we're trying to achieve or further away from it. And when you put things in perspective like that, it's pretty easy. You know, it just really just makes you more self-aware of, you know, your choices, you know. Again, um, I'm trying to get better at this, you know, we're humans, right? So we, we're always going to make mistakes and we're always going to do, um, you know, make bad decisions, you know, not always, but, you know, we, we do make them, but we can change those things around in an instant by making better ones. And sometimes I think without stuff like this that I'm reading or that I'm listening to um, before, uh, I would think that I was stuck in a sit certain situation when I'm really not. All I got to do is change my attitude, change the way I think, change the way I do things, my actions, and um, things start to change. Now, it's the compound effect, right? So it's not like going to happen like overnight, but little steps here and there are going to put you in a position where you're getting closer and closer, hot or warm or cold or freezing from your goals. So uh, I just thought that was really, um, you know, just really cool stuff just to kind of put it in perspective like that. Never even think about it. But when you think about it like that, it just makes things so much easier. So today, you know, like every day we're just on the hunt, right? Every day we're on the hunt, like we're either getting closer or further away from, from that, uh, 
you know, that ultimate egg that we're trying to find and get, you know, whether it be happiness, uh, financial situation, uh, health and fitness, weight loss, you know, jujitsu goals, whatever the case may be, every action that you take today and tomorrow going forward is either going to get you colder or hotter towards that goal. So, um, just really, really, really good stuff. Figured I'd share it with you while I was, you know, like I said, I was out walking my dog and I came back, watered my plants, you know, drinking the coffee and everything. And I was like, man, that's really good stuff. So I wanted to get that out there and, and put that out there today. So again, if you don't have this book, I highly recommend you get it. But if you don't, you know, you can just easily go to YouTube today, put up uh, the compound effect, Darren Hardy, and um, listen to it. You know, like I said, I, I, I drive around all day. I, you know, to me, the, the radio is just, I don't really connect with the music that's, uh, that's on the radio stations and stuff like that. So I listen to this stuff as I'm driving around, as I'm cleaning up, and it's just constant reinforcement, like training jujitsu every day, like lifting weights every day. You know, I'm building up the mindset to just uh, try to make better choices. Again, I don't always make them, but it's getting better to where I'm more self-aware of the things that I know I need to be doing. And when I see the things that I know I shouldn't be doing, I need to cut those out and change the, the habits and the mindsets and stuff like that. So the compound effect. Now, remember, the compound effect, it's working right now with these Coffee with uh, Coach episodes. I think this is episode 118. I haven't had a day off yet. I've literally did these things consecutively for 118 days. And uh, it's just over time, it just becomes a habit and I'm just used to it and I'm reading more and I'm, I'm listening more. It's just making me better. And for those that are, are, are hopping onto this, I uh, appreciate it. Share it with someone that might need it. And um, you know, hopefully it's helping you too. And uh, it's just good stuff. I mean, why, why wouldn't we want those, those vitamins every day like we would with everything that we eat? Um, the mental vitamins as well to make our mind better and, and just think better and try to just be better. Because again, I talk to a lot of people every, every day or throughout the week. And a lot of people are going through a lot of really crappy things. Um, some things are kind of like self-inflicted wounds. And then some things um, are just, you know, life just, you know, dumps some crap on you today or this week or this month and some things are happening. So you have choices to either let that affect you and ruin everything going forward or find a way to um, handle it and make it better and try to make it positive in some kind of way. You know, some things are just inevitable. They're just going to be the way they are. Um, but you got to try to make the best of it. And the way you do that is reading and listening to the right things every day. The thing about this stuff here that I hear from like Jocko and David Goggins and all this stuff. And the same thing with like when I teach jujitsu, it's like I can show you a move, a technique. But if you don't actually implement it or try to use it, then it's useless, right? So this stuff here, I can read it, listen to it, but if I'm not actually put it into action, it's pointless, you know, it's useless. It's not, it, you have this information and it's only going to be useful if you actually take action on it. And the thing about it is, it's that when the student is ready, the teacher will appear kind of thing. Some people just, they want advice, uh, they say they want to get better, but the actions don't show that because when you give them advice, there's a rebuttal, there's a, there's a, this, there's a, there's an excuse, there's a way out. You know, it's just, man, you're asking for help, take the advice and then implement the actual things, the actual steps and then do them. But it has to be on a daily basis. So again, Easter egg hunt, goal hunt, you're either getting hotter, uh, warmer, colder or freezing, okay? We definitely don't wanna be in the freezing stage, you know, on the hunt, you know what I mean? You wanna get warmer and get to the point where you're getting like super hot, right? To where you're actually achieving and getting closer to those goals. And every day it's just a battle. Every day it's a battle of getting up and trying to move forward. There's days where you don't feel like it. You gotta do it anyway, do it anyway. All right guys, so I hope that helps. Hope you guys have a great Sunday afternoon, uh, Sunday morning and uh, make it a great one. We'll catch you on the next one, later.